Hey there magic one, Bronya here. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Before we jump on in, this short introduction will cover how you can book a personal reading or healing, connect with me beyond YouTube, and learn intuitive tarot with me for free. That's right, you heard correctly. You'll have to watch on to find out how. If none of this interests you, feel free to skip this introduction by clicking on the video progress bar. All of the links for everything I discuss in this introduction are clearly set out for you in the video description down below. I'd love to perform a personal reading or healing for you. Follow the link below to check out the offerings on my website. Readings and healings of different durations are available, including handwritten tarot letters direct from me to you. To connect with me beyond YouTube, join my karmic community to be part of a guided self-development journey, hear updates from me, and receive special offers. You can also find me on Instagram and on Facebook, where I share more inspo and insights, but please do use the links provided below, as unfortunately there are fake accounts out there. If you're intrigued by tarot and want to learn to guide yourself, I have a free mini course to get you started and I've designed it just for you. You'll find the link down below and you can follow that to gain immediate access to this interactive online course, which includes over 40 minutes of video. To learn all the basics of tarot and my signature process for reading tarot from the heart, you can join the initiation, which is my four week journey that will take you deeper into the art. Or check out my other channel, The Wild Lotus School of Tarot, where I share my knowledge, experience, tips and tricks to help people like you get started reading tarot. Well, that's it from me for now. I am wishing you so much love and magic for your week ahead. Let's get on with your reading. Pisces, welcome to your tarot reading for December 12th to the 18th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. Pisces, we have the nine card block, three for your recent past, three focus energy, three future outcome, oracles, a lead tarot energy, and I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you. Pisces, you have some, some big players here. You know, you've got the sun. I love it. Chariot, the fall, the world, all these major arcana plus two aces. So it feels like an empowering reading for you. And um, you're definitely moving ahead to, to some exciting things. Now, uh, you do have the, the ace of cups here. I'm, I'm actually feeling more work career with this reading. But I do read an energetic pattern. So it's possible that there is new beginnings in love for you. We'll see how it comes out. Interestingly, from the Sacred Creator Oracle, I've got two very opposite energies here. I've got fierce serenity and the spark of hustle. And we can kind of see that in the colors. We've got this cool, blue, calm, peaceful energy. And then we've got this like fiery, uh, you know, action <laughs> all on energy. So it's interesting. Maybe, you know, and this is about you firing up after a period where there's been a pause or there's been a waiting period it's like finally the hustle is on like things are moving things are starting here i've got the pisces card from moonology deck here and it says balance spirituality and practicality okay pisces like you you uh, love to dream and scheme and you're very good at that and you have m amazing ideas and you go deep like nobody else. But it's also good to, to have an action plan and to be actually working towards making these uh, ideas that you have um, a reality in the real world because it just feels like there is a new path opening up for you. So I'm wondering what you're cooking up here, Pisces, whether it's a new idea. I mean, in the Page of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, it feels like there is a solid new start here. It could be in business, it could be new clients, a new offering, a new job, even a new home with what I'm seeing here. Or a trip or something like that because you do have a lot of indicators of, of movement here as well. The sun is your lead energy. It's Leo energy. I also have Cancer with the, the chariot and Aries with the fall. So you may be dealing with one of those signs. Interestingly, the sun is really this energy of a positive uh, new journey and it shows up in the full card as well. These cards are very linked. So it feels like there's a new path opening and 
by you stepping onto that path the sun comes out in your life and maybe you're overcoming some kind of struggle I mean you know we do have the nine of swords at the heart of your reading we do have the five of cups here so there could have been a loss okay there could have been a disappointment I see three cups spilt here and three of cups is around you know your joy and happiness so you could have been journeying through something in the past that you know took your joy for some time or the three of cups is also around what you're creating and growing so something you might have had to abandon something something may not have given you the growth that you wanted and it caused you some stress and I feel like you're making an important decision here with the two of pentacles maybe to head in a new direction or pursue a new opportunity and you're weighing that up Pisces with the Sun here this is your green light to move ahead this is like the big divine yes saying yeah the future is bright there and in fact we're gonna put like the Sun over it which is like this laser lamp that's gonna make this grow quickly because it's so full of heat fire and warmth as long as you take action towards that Pisces so it feels pretty good um, your emotions might be running a little bit high at the moment as you make the decision to move ahead with this because of what you've experienced in the past and because maybe of some um, thoughts or overwhelm here um, and that again that could be coming from your past experience so I've got the Page of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Chariot in your recent past. Love, love, love. Um, you, you have either gotten an offer or will be getting an offer here, Pisces. The Ace of Wands is new potential. You're either going to get an offer or it's something that you have been wanting to create for some time. Page of Pentacles, there is an idea, there is a seed here to be grown, to be expanded. Alternatively, you may receive a message from somebody that starts very small in terms of, hey, you know, I've got this idea, here's this thing, do you want to be involved? And very soon small things become <laughs> big things, become, you know, they grow, they come become a one pentacle to the eight pentacles. It's like, are you in? Are you willing to invest in this new direction here, Pisces? Well, I'm going to call yes on that because with the chariot, the fall and the world, you know, you are ready to put this past behind you and move on to new victories. I mean, the chariot is a victory card, but it does require you to make this decision, okay? You need to make this decision and that's what's going to have you quantum leap ahead. You might even be leaving behind a sense of home that can be a physical home or, you know, closing out another chapter in your life or another opportunity in order to pursue this. I mean, there is always endings when we have beginnings as well. But what I see here, Pisces, with the Eight of Pentacles and the Four, is I see you saying yes and I see you investing in this. I see you committing to this, whether it's a contract, whether it's a commitment whether it's a side hustle or a new job I think you go yep yeah, I'm in this week so the fall says a new path is opening and you're really being encouraged not to sort of get too hung up on where it's headed or the end game but stay present to the journey follow your instincts leave the past in the past and take that action say yes and yeah it might be a, you know a growth curve at the start there might be some work you know effort energy time that you're going to need to invest in this but it feels like if you do then again this is your new beginning this is your victory I mean the world is actually the last major arcana that comes after the final judgment Pisces and it talks about a whole new chapter starting for you so I can only feel that this new beginning is not something that's just in your life for a moment um, but for a season at least you know it's a longer cycle here with the world so the world is about the victory that comes by you know changing chapters moving towards the new that you have achieved the karmic lessons that you needed to from your past situation so now the universe is saying okay send in new energy for Pisces okay process the last of those hurts and yes there was a disappointment here but there are new opportunities so close if this hasn't showed up then I feel like it will 
the Ace of Cups again is your second cup in the uh, Ace, sorry, in the reading. It is the only cup. I have more pentacles than cups here, which is why I'm thinking this is more to do with your resources, your work, your money, your home, you know, those kind of aspects of your life. But it's also going to fulfill you on an emotional level. Like this is going to bring you happiness. This is going to be transformative for you in terms of your happiness, your satisfaction, your contentment, and really moving you towards your bigger hopes, dreams, and wishes. So let's get a couple more for the ending, Pisces. We have got Four of Cups. Yeah, I mean, it might have been like, okay, this is what's coming through, because in the Four of Cups, there is usually an offer coming in, but somebody is still contemplating the Three of Cups. So I feel like up until this arrived, you were quite focused on this loss, but you hadn't lost hope of the dream of the new creation. So just make sure that you are open, that you are open to this offer, because sometimes it can be someone's trying to get your attention here, but you might be fixated on that loss. Uh -huh. This is the judgment card. I was kind of expecting to see that when I uh, <laughs> when I said that about the world card. So this is the second to last major arcana. It's called Awakening in this deck. It's like, I think you will awaken and see that this is a good thing. And this is an opportunity for you to forgive the past and to actually liberate, to free yourself, to go to the next uh, level. I feel like it is kind of like a spiritual graduation or... You know, you did expand your consciousness in some way from that past challenge and everything that you went through there. There could have been, you know, sadness, depression, anxiety, all the way through to, you know, just disappointment here. But this is the gateway, Pisces, to the new energy, into the new chapter. Remember, be practical, be grounded, take action. But the universe is giving you that little divine wink and saying, yeah, it's time to move forward. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonated for those it's meant for. Please do keep in mind that being a general reading for the collective, it may or may not resonate for you. Please do drop me a comment if you're cool to share, Pisces. I love connecting with you over there. And um, please hit subscribe on your way out to support the channel and keep so many of the readings coming. So wishing you so much love and magic, Pisces. Do take care. Bye for now.